let me tell you one of the major principles I learned from our fathers of faith that has helped my life in a mighty way today a life of consistent gratitude for many of you if you take your eyes away from all this life of complaining and grumbling as a man of god god gave me 1000 members oh god if you live in that realm you will fail some of you you may not have 1 million the 200,000 naira you have in your account, the 10 million, the 100 million, you have 1 billion, you are saying, God, what is in 100 billion you cannot give me? Father, that you were able to trust me with 1 billion, I am grateful. This is what many generations may not even get. I am grateful. When we were growing up, we used to sing a song. Some have food, but cannot eat some can eat but have no food we have food and we can eat glory be good values now our children just say plus plus jesus minus satan very indisciplined way of saying thank you over a meal when last did you take your eyes away from what god has not done to look at the many things he has done is someone learning now make up your mind that this year will not be a year of complaining and grumbling unhealthy comparison lord thank god for the rapper you gave me but is this person not a human being too why are you giving her a rapper of two million and you gave me a rapper of 200 and god says you will remain there because you think i'm stupid for trusting you everything multiplies when you become thankful and thoughtful god god sees my heart and i will tell you sincerely i have never never ever wished to say oh god please i'm not grateful just make me like this mm, i don't do that lord i am grateful right from the time this ministry was in its infancy if i come for koinonia today sincerely and i see only 10 or 20 people from a leadership standpoint i will be concerned and responsible and find out why but intrinsically from my heart i will stand before the god of heaven and say the privilege you gave me to teach somebody don't don't downplay the fact that somebody will leave his house and come to listen to you i've taught you not everybody thinks you are a big deal A man of God called me one time some years ago and said he went somewhere and the honorarium they gave him was so insulting. I just kept quiet. And I just counseled him. I said, sir, well, I respect your philosophies, but I have never preached because of money. I never, when I started ministry, I didn't even know that a man of God goes to preach and they package an envelope and give him. I never knew that. Sometimes it's when I'm done and I'm climbing the bike going. They would tear 2A and roll money just looking like Indian hemp and just squeeze it and give me. And I receive it with joy. It's till I get home that I even know what it is that, that they gave me. But right now we have many people. You preach, you go to a ministry where you see that the gen is offing and only you know they are struggling and you are... I'm not i'm not here to cause any trouble in the body of christ we must be careful if you don't know how to kneel down and say thank you thank you god you gave me tea i'm tired where is bread god said because you even have the mouth to drink the tea they murmured in the wilderness is it in your bible it says do everything without complaining or argument in the next one minute i know that our time is up but i want you i don't know how you will say it but i want you to look at this god who has been merciful from january till now june it's part of the journey to your i don't know how you are going to do it you don't have to kneel or stand or whatever but let it be from your heart Tell him thank you. Thank you. 
father i've not gotten the job yet but i didn't lack food this year i ate healthier and happier than even people who had jobs someone say thank you i roamed around people with communicable diseases and lord you have kept me and protected me the same thing someone did and died i did the same thing and i'm still standing i'd like you to pray someone invested his money somewhere did not get returns and plunged to depression and died you invested your money there and yet you are still standing you have the courage to even stand say thank you take your eyes away from what god has not done just one minute Is someone praying? I praise you. I praise you. Oh Lord. I praise you. I praise you. Oh Lord. In my life, Lord. I see what you're doing one more time, Lord. I lift my hands in praise of your holy name. I lift my hands in praise. One last time from the depth of your heart. I praise you. I praise you. I praise you, I praise you, oh Lord, in my life, Lord, I see, I see what you're doing, one more, one more time, Lord, I lift my hands in praise of your name. Jesus, thank you for your hand in this ministry. Thank you for the miracles. Oh, how can we complain? You have been faithful. Thank you for every life and every family represented here. Thank you for everything that has happened in and around our lives from January till now. Whether we've understood it or not, we say thank you. Because indeed you are faithful. Thank you for life. Thank you for health. Thank you for favor. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for deliverance. Lord, we vow tonight that we will live thankful lives. As we trust you to walk us through the various phases of our destinies. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Lord, we declare as a people and as individuals that we will not abort destiny in the name of jesus christ that which has been earmarked for us as far as destiny is concerned and as far as your kingdom come agenda is concerned lord we will live it to its fullest i pray for everyone tonight oh god following from zaria here in abuja and across the nations of the earth in the name of jesus the grace to fulfill your destiny receive it right now in the name of jesus christ and for some of you who have veered off the path of destiny the lord god of heaven is showing you mercy tonight in the mighty name of jesus christ amen and amen